Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Watercolour. So today I'm going to share with you um, just a little bit of a snippet of a video. I went to the zoo the other day and I spent the whole day just painting, just sitting and painting all the animals. So I got some footage of these gorgeous little otters. They were being so playful and so much fun. So I thought today I would have a go at uh, painting one of these little guys for you. So um, yeah, I sat sort of just pulled up I took a little chair and an easel and I sat down and just sketched them and had a bit of fun and yeah filmed the little guys while they were playing so and I got some awesome screenshots from them so yeah so I'll be working from that today so I did one sketch that I, I'm going to share with you right now just um, one of the ones I did sitting beside them so <laughs> so it's just a very quick little sketch so now I'm going to do a proper watercolor sketch from them so a proper picture so away I go so I'm just going to go in with the general outline I'm going to paint him walking down some rocks so I'll just do the general shape of him and I'm doing this on my um, Saunders Waterford A5 watercolour paper and it's a medium grain 300 gram cotton so and I'll be using my schminky watercolours so yeah, I've done the basic outline sketch. So now I'm going in with a little bit of transparent sienna, just in a very watery wash over his whole little body. Just turn off my heater. There we go. Sorry about the ping in the background. So now I'm going over that with a little bit of transparent umber, just to darken in the darker areas on his little body. And I'm using my uh, silver black velvet watercolour brushes today. So yeah, again, I'm going in now with a bit of transparent umber. Just mixing up all the browns and a bit of burnt umber underneath his tail and underneath his arm and the shadow parts of his legs. But anywhere he's got dark, this is now I'm just going in with a bit of raw burnt umber. So very, not very diluted at all. I'm starting to move it around with a damp brush just around the rest of his body now. And I mixed it with a bit of burn umber with a bit of um, ultramarine just to make that almost blacky brown or blacky grey. So now I'm popping the sky in with a bit of cobalt blue. Just run that round with a damp brush and spread it as evenly as I can. There we go. And now I'm going to put the rocks in. So I'm just mixing up a bit of colour. I'm going to go in with a grey. So I've made it with Burn Umber Ultramarine and just yeah a, quite a, a watery mix and just run that all over the rock initially and while it's still damp I'll pot a few, pop a few different browns in and a few different purpley greys so again just a slightly different mixture of burnt umber ultramarine just to darken up the greys in certain areas and underneath him and then even darker again for the shadowy spot directly under him so it's just all different mixtures of the same thing. Just I've added a little bit of a little bit of red to this. So burn umber ultramarine, a little bit of red just to purpley it up. So now I'm going back in just for some finer detail. So now I'm going in with a bit more um, transparent sienna around his body. Just take that down his tail and around just with a damp brush. Just move it around a little bit. And I've managed to put my hand in the paint down the bottom, as you can see. <laughs> so I've got to tidy that up a little bit. But now I'm just popping, a little, yeah, I'll tidy that up now. I did pop a little bit of grey under his under his um, neck in the shadowy parts because he's, you know, a little bluey grey where the shadow, are, the shadow is on his white. So now I'm just popping a little teeny tiny little bit of fur texture. And I'm using a thicker mix of Burn Umbra Ultramarine. 
So just sticking to the same simple sort of colour palette. Just pop a bit more definition around. Pop his little whiskies on. And his eye in with a little bit of Payne's Grey. A bit more, a little tiny bit more fur definition. Now I've got a tiny little bit of um, white gouache that I'm, he had like shiny patches on his fur so I've popped a few little shiny spots around using the white gouache just to give that illusion. Had a little bit behind his ear there and a bit across his back. So now I'm just making just a very dark shadow, a very purpley shadow, a stronger shadow under him, just directly underneath him. And we're just about done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, click like and subscribe and I'd love to see you guys all next time. So have an awesome day. Thanks again, guys. Bye.